China's ambitious Metal Storm project is setting the stage for a new era of warfare. With a machine gun capable of firing 450,000 rounds per minute per barrel. Developed by scientists and engineers led by Lu Xutao at the North University of China, the weapon represents a groundbreaking advancement in defense technology aimed at countering emerging threats like hypersonic missiles traveling at speeds above Mach 7. Through innovative design and cutting-edge technology, the Metal Storm could potentially become one of the most powerful machine guns in human history. But beyond its sheer firepower, it offers a new perspective on how we might protect against increasingly advanced missile threats, especially in the age of hypersonic warfare. The Metal Storm weapon system is centered on a multi-barrel design, with each barrel capable of firing an astonishing 450,000 rounds per minute. To accommodate this high rate of fire, traditional reload systems are replaced with a novel approach, a box-type rotary firing mechanism. This design utilizes replaceable magazines containing multiple preloaded barrels. Once a barrel is spent, it is discarded along with the entire magazine, solving the challenge of refilling ammunition at such high rates of consumption. The most impressive feature of the Metal Storm is its electronic trigger system. Unlike conventional mechanical triggers, which struggle to keep up with extreme firing rates, the Metal Storm uses a contactless coil-based system that ignites the explosive in the bullet by creating a high-energy metal jet. This process occurs within just 17.5 microseconds, enabling the weapon to achieve its extraordinary firing rate. The precision and reliability of this trigger are crucial to ensuring the gun remains accurate and effective at such extreme speeds. The fact that it operates with no mechanical parts also reduces wear and tear, making it an ideal solution for continuous firing without the usual degradation in performance that can affect conventional machine guns. Additionally, further advancements have been made to optimize the bullets themselves. The use of test bullets embedded with sensors and chips adds another layer of sophistication to the metal storm. These smart projectiles enable real-time data collection on impact, providing valuable insights into the weapon's performance and effectiveness. Some teams are also working on incorporating sensor technology into the barrels and magazines themselves, allowing for advanced diagnostic capabilities and performance tracking that could lead to improvements in future iterations of the weapon. To make the weapon more practical for military use, Chinese scientists are working to make the disposable barrels more cost-effective. Given that each barrel is discarded after use, the costs associated with producing and replacing them could quickly become a challenge. To mitigate this, the Chinese team is focusing on developing durable and inexpensive materials that would allow for the mass production of these disposable barrels without driving up costs. If successful, this approach could radically change the economics of high rate of fire weapons as it would allow for systems that can shoot at incredibly high speeds without the logistical and financial burdens typically associated with traditional ammunition. As warfare evolves, traditional missile defense systems are increasingly struggling to keep pace with emerging threats, particularly hypersonic missiles. These weapons travel at speeds exceeding Mach 5, making them nearly impossible for existing defense systems to intercept. Hypersonic missiles are also highly maneuverable, flying at low altitudes and exploiting gaps in conventional radar and missile defense systems. As such, new and more innovative approaches are required to defend against these high-speed, unpredictable threats. The Metal Storm's ability to fire at such extreme speeds makes it an ideal candidate for countering hypersonic missiles. While missile defense systems rely on complex tracking and interception techniques that can take seconds or even minutes to deploy, the Metal Storm can start firing within milliseconds of detecting a threat, drastically reducing the time between detection and response. 
This could be crucial in a scenario where a hypersonic missile is closing in on a target at hypersonic speeds, leaving little time for traditional interception methods to succeed. One of the key advantages of the Metal Storm system over traditional missile defense is its simplicity. Missile defense systems often rely on expensive interceptor missiles that require complex tracking, targeting, and guidance systems to be effective. These systems can be expensive to develop, difficult to deploy in large numbers, and costly to maintain. In contrast, the Metal Storm uses conventional bullets which are far cheaper and easier to produce, and its firepower can be sustained for much longer periods of time. This gives it a significant logistical advantage, particularly for countries with limited defense budgets or those that are facing a saturation attack scenario where many incoming missiles would overwhelm traditional missile defense systems. Moreover, the Metal Storm's advanced firepower could provide a deterrent effect demonstrating a nation's technological prowess and ability to counteract missile threats with highly advanced and reliable systems. For a country like China, which is already investing heavily in hypersonic weapons, it makes sense to develop complementary defensive systems that can protect its territory and military assets from similar threats. The United States is also investing heavily in technologies designed to counter hypersonic weapons, though many of these systems face significant challenges of their own. One of the most well-known of these systems is the US Navy's Phalanx Close-In Weapon System, which is already deployed on many warships. The Phalanx is a radar-guided gun system designed to target and destroy incoming missiles. However, its maximum firing rate of 4,500 rounds per minute pales in comparison to the Metal Storm's 450,000 rounds per minute, meaning that the Phalanx would be far less effective against high-speed threats like hypersonic missiles. In response to this, the US military has been working on developing advanced missile interceptors, including the SM-6 Dual and Glide Phase Interceptor (GPI). These systems are designed to target hypersonic missiles during their boost or glide phases. However, both face challenges related to their high cost and limited production capabilities. Given the limited magazine depth on most warships, these interceptors may not be able to effectively handle large-scale saturation attacks where multiple hypersonic missiles are launched at once. The US has also turned to laser weapons as a possible countermeasure against hypersonic threats. Systems like Helios and Odin are designed to use directed energy to disable or destroy incoming missiles. However, these technologies are still in the early stages of development and face significant technical and logistical hurdles, including the need for massive power generation and cooling systems. Current U.S. naval vessels, like the Arleigh Burke-class destroyers, lack the necessary internal space to install the additional infrastructure required for laser weapons, further complicating their potential deployment. Railguns have also been explored as a countermeasure against hypersonic weapons. Railguns use electromagnetic forces to launch projectiles at incredibly high speeds, similar to shooting down a bullet with a bullet. This approach offers the potential for extremely high velocity, allowing railguns to engage hypersonic threats. However, railguns also face significant challenges, including overheating and wear and tear on the rails, which can limit their ability to fire multiple shots in rapid succession. Additionally, railguns are still in the experimental stage and much work remains to be done to refine the technology and make it viable for operational use. While the US and other nations are pursuing a range of counter-hypersonic technologies, China's Metal Storm offers a distinct advantage in terms of sheer firepower and simplicity. Unlike interceptors, lasers, or rail guns, which require complex systems and significant infrastructure, the Metal Storm relies on conventional ammunition that can be mass-produced, stored, and deployed with relative ease. 
This makes it a potentially more cost-effective solution in a world where defense budgets are increasingly stretched thin and where nations are facing growing threats from hypersonic missiles. Additionally, the metal storm's rapid rate of fire and electronic trigger system give it a significant edge over traditional machine guns and missile defense systems. This high-speed firing capability allows it to engage a much larger volume of targets in a shorter amount of time, greatly increasing the likelihood of successfully intercepting fast-moving threats. The simplicity of the design, coupled with the ability to quickly deploy and operate the system, makes it an attractive option for defense against hypersonic missiles and other advanced threats.